This video is about open loop versus closed loop EFI control. <clears throat> In open loop EFI control, it is the ECU is not using the signal from the oxygen sensor. So um, it, it completely ignores that. It might as well not even be in the vehicle at this, at this point because with open loop, it's looking at a fuel chart in, in its files and it's saying, okay, under these conditions, I need to give the engine this much fuel. Um, a lot of the time that's for part throttle acceleration or um, low load on the engine. And a lot, the, a lot of the reason for that is because it guarantees um, good fuel economy and it guarantees you know emissions are going to be within certain levels um, and it and again it, it doesn't use the oxygen sensor at all for open loop it is relying totally on the fuel map in the ECU with a uh, closed loop EFI control you're using your oxygen sensor um, whether that's a narrow band or a wide band um, it doesn't matter um, I have another video explaining that, but with closed loop, the ECU and the oxygen sensor in the exhaust are talking back and forth. It's telling it, you know, this is my ratio. If it's a wide band or if it's a narrow band, it's saying I'm lean or I'm uh, rich and the ECU adjusts accordingly. And the reason um, that's used is uh, a lot of the time under heavy load or wide open throttle acceleration, the ECU wants to make sure that engine is running in a safe state. So say, you know, you plant your foot and it thinks it's lean, it will add fuel so you don't uh, score your cylinder walls or seize your engine, that sort of thing, or overheat it. Um, so it's talking back and forth to the oxygen sensor and um, it's, it's to keep the engine safe a lot of the time. Um, and a, a lot of the time, that's what uh, people use to tune engines too. They use uh, closed loop, it talks back and forth, it can adjust the fuel table in the ECU. So that's the difference between open and closed loop.